digital electronics activity 3.1.3 flip-flop applications this is a shift register activity uh, quick review let's just go over the binary count uh, hopefully by now we know how to count in binary from 0 to 15 and the hex equivalent digits are 0 through 9 and once you get to 10 in binaries the capital A lowercase b, capital C, lowercase d, capital E, capital F. What this activity is going to focus on is the lowercase d. So you as students need to read from beginning to end the directions of this activity. We're going to use the normal design mode of multi-sim first you have to create this for two points normal multi-sim this z light only turns on when the letter d flashes and 1101 is reading correctly from right to left to show digit d this is a little confusing because Normally, we read binary from left to right, 1101, one, left to right. But for this activity, the most significant bit is on the right, 1101. One, one. It goes from right to left. So here we go. So on normal multi-sim design mode, you're going to create this. The Z probe only lights up when the letter D flashes. So you need to drop in these chips, these TTLs, six probes, three AND gates, two switches, an inverter, and you need to make this. For this quick video, I'm going to immediately jump to the design mode for this video. I'm short on time. So let's see if I can do this. Here we go. You need to do new PLD design, right? This is our CMOD 6 program, if you want to call it. We use the digital in CMOD 6. We hit next. Let's call this your last name. 3.1.3 shift register shift reg hit next we need to uncheck all these so on the word document you need to follow which pios or buttons we need so I'm going to just lay them in here right now. A switch is number 45, so we need number 45. We need CLK. We also need PIO 13. We'll, let's put in BTN 0, BTN 1. These are on the uh, CMOD 6 ship. We need four LEDs. Let's do the four LEDs on the CMOD 6 chip. And then we're going to do PIO 41 for the other LED. And then we're going to hit finish. So these are going to get dropped in over here on our PLD design last name shift register. So these are outputs. PIO 13 is an input, BTN 1 is an input, BTN 0 is an input, PIO 45 is a switch, CLK is an input, PIO 41 is going to go over here, we're going to right click this, properties, make it an output, And we're going to flip this 
horizontally. Okay, here we go. Our goal is to make this circuit on the document in CMOD 6 mode. So, I believe we need a flip-flop. We need the wand for the ones that are on the sheet of paper. Make sure you pick the right one. I believe we need this one for these. Just go for it. You're going to lay four of these here. One, two, three, four, close. Let's get these over if you want. Here we go. We also need a digital high at all times. Digital source, we need a digital high that is always one. But then we also need an interactive digital constant. We need two of these. One here, one here. Close, we could assign keys to this. So we need this as key D. We need this as key C, double click, assign it to C. Okay, we need an inverter, TTL, or logic to hate, INV. I believe that goes here. Leads in a K here. And we need an AND4, AND4. Drop this here. Close. We need four probes. We need five probes. Pick any color you want. Align eye orange. One. Two. Three. Four, close. Oh, we need a fifth probe down here. Let's make this one yellow for kicks. Cool, close. So if these names are in your way, I think you could delete them. Maybe you can't. Okay, well, so hopefully you can see where you need to plug in. So here we go. All the PRs at the top get connected to this digital high over here. So we want to make sure that you don't airball. So all four of these get plugged into here. PD gets plugged into J. And it goes through the inverter, it gets plugged into K. Now, all the CLKs in the middle get plugged into this C over here. I believe these all branch down here. And then all the bottom clears get plugged into this digital high.
So now, this is where it gets tricky. Not Q goes straight across to positive K. Q goes into J. I believe this probe gets hooked up right in the middle. And that also gets plugged into this guy over here. Not Q to K. Q to J. Second probe here, second input there. Couple more. This to here, this straight across, third input here. So this last knot Q does not get plugged in, and then we go to here. Right now we're simulating, right? We're not going to transfer yet, so we're not going to plug in all these LDs or these PIOs yet. So PD controls this part, PC controls this part. These are like your interactive switches. So I would hit save. Last name, 3.1.3, shift, reg. So hopefully these probes turn on the way we want to. Oh, we got to plug in this probe here. Let's give it a whirl. So we are in simulation mode. Of course, it's not working. Back. Simulate this, right? Nope. Okay. So, key D needs to be on. And then as you keep, keep flipping C, these lights should turn on. So you need to find the combination. Where this light turns on. You have to verify the 0110 design works on your simulation. So to turn them all off, PD has to be zero. Just keep flipping C. Let's see. So I want the first one on. Maybe the second one off. So I guess the last probe turns on when all four are on. Congratulations.